Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to do something fun again. I'm going to try to color tone my photos. Uh, these are photo prints made in the dark room. The proper term to use in this case is actually staining um, rather than toning. What's the difference between toning and staining? For toning, we usually make use of some chemicals toner like the gold toner, selenium toner and the chemicals inside this toner will react with the silver highlights in the photo print to create a chemical change and that will usually affect the color of the photo print that means in the shadows, in the mid-tones, even in the highlights where there are still some details in places where there is no more silver highlights, maybe the white border that is uh, surrounding the print, uh, there's no reaction, so the uh, those white area will remain white. Whereas for staining, in this case, I'm using some organic materials like coffee or tea, and that actually impart a uh, color to the uh, photo print. This material actually sort of like dye the photo print so it will affect all parts of the uh, photo print including let's say the white border so those white border will take on another color. So that's the main difference between toning and staining. Another difference is that some toner will make the prints more archival by converting the silver highlights into something more stable. But for staining, the photo print will not be more archival through this process. What the, stain, the staining material do is to stain the color print. And this color uh, stain may not be permanent with uh, exposure to light and all that. This color stain may fade away. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you're interested in this staining process, do first try it on some test print, prints that are not important to you to understand how this staining process works. So do watch to the end of this video to see whether am I successful in using coffee, tea, beetroot and uh, turmeric to color stain my photos. So let's go. Alright, so here are four items that I'll try to use for the toning of the photo paper. Um, I use the word toning in the loose way. This is more like staining the photo paper and um, it will affect all parts of the paper including the uh, white area right, so starting from the left we have the turmeric the yellow ginger turmeric actually stains very well so uh, usually I will be careful when handling this wear gloves and make sure it doesn't get onto um, any of the kitchen uh, platform or my clothes huh? right. next uh, this is a Thai iced tea. Honestly, it doesn't taste very good and it has a very bright orange color. I think there are some food coloring in there. So I will uh, use one packet to stain the photo also. Um, next, this is um, beetroot. Right? Uh, more towards the red color. So what I do is I will cut up the pieces and then boil it for a while. And then we we'll use the liquid to stain the photo. Lastly, I have some local coffee powder. Um, this is half a half a kg for Singapore dollars, uh, five fifty. So our local coffee is about fifty percent um, coffee bean only. Um, the rest of the um, powder is actually uh, corn and some other stuff added in so it's a lot cheaper okay so same thing i will brew a cup and then uh, use it for staining the photo paper okay so what i do now is i do prepare these two in the kitchen and i'll cut them out and then boil them in some water probably for like you no know, um, 15 minutes or so depending on how the color turn and then we'll use the liquid So I have uh, chopped this out into even smaller pieces. I'm going to boil it in maybe 50 ml of water. So these are all um, finely chopped up. 
So again, I will boil it up with some water. I don't think we need a lot of water because I think it still has quite a lot, quite a lot of juices. What I have here is quite an old print. Um, this is made on Alpha RC paper. So I will use this photo to try out the beetroot uh, staining. So I'm going to pour in the beetroot solution here. Wow, you can see it's very red. Right. I have prepared a little bit more um, beetroot solution and pour it in so that it will cover up the whole print better. And then we'll let it sit for an hour or so before we take a look at how much staining has um, occurred. Do note that this is RC paper. Later I'll try some fiber-based photo to see whether fiber-based um, photo gets stained easier because uh, after all they are um, cotton-based. Okay, so this is not the Thai iced tea. Eh? This is the turmeric, the yellow ginger um, and I have a piece of uh, fiber based uh, print here again an old print not really an important one so I can use it for testing so what I'm going to do is again um, I have already soaked the print into in water for a few minutes right, just to make it soft and then I can pour in the juice not really juice but the turmeric liquid so the next item we'll try is our Thai iced tea it has taken on this color which is um, brown or you can call it deep orange so it's a calitite print it's the paper that I print this on is um, uh, Archer's Patin right and uh, it's a cotton paper so let's see how we will take on this uh, staining then we'll pour the tea in and let it sit until we can see some changes okay so this is the fourth item that we're going to try this is coffee uh, the local coffee that I showed you earlier I scoop two spoon of it and uh, put it into the coffee maker so this is how it is about 300 ml or 250 ml of uh, coffee now I will pour it right into this print again this is a RC print um, I believe this Uford multi-grade RC paper so I'm going to soak it and again we'll come back uh, I also think that this may take a while because this RC paper the staining will not happen so fast so let's let it sit and then I'll come back when it's ready the next morning okay so this is the two of the prints on the next day so I've soaked them for almost probably 18 hours um, you don't see the coffee and the turmeric one here because um, those two react faster they tone or they stain the print faster so yesterday after a few hours I have already removed them I'll show you the print later for, for these two I'm going to uh, remove the liquid and then check the results okay so we see the prints here so let me go through the prints and examine the results so this is the prints from the turmeric uh, staining and I find that for turmeric it really stained very fast and well so you can see that the prints has taken on a yellow, a very yellow uh, stain. Uh, I'm just putting the white paper next to it for comparison. So this is a FB print, a fiber base. So I thought maybe the fiber base is uh, take on the staining well. So what I did was that I tried it on uh, RC paper and it also stained very well. 
So you can see that places where it was uh, in highlights, it also got stained yellow. And after washing, the stain is there. So Tilmar is a good stainer and it reacts very fast. So next is the coffee. And in this case, I have an original unstained print versus the one that is stained in coffee. And for coffee, it's also stained very fast. Again, a few hours, I will have uh, gotten this uh, result. So um, this is what I mean by staining. You can see that the white border also got stained, right? So I do like this uh, effect. It looks a bit like uh, quite old age and it really matches well with this photo. Of course, this is just a test print. Huh? Uh, so I think you can see the difference quite obviously. The next one is the Thai tea and I'm using another paper. This is not the dark room paper. This is the cotton paper that I use for calitite printing. As you can see, the bag has taken a light uh, brown uh, color stain and the front, there's some uneven. Maybe I need to agitate the tray for uh, more often. Again, I leave this for about 16 hours. Right, so there's some color stain here, but overall there is uh, not much effect. Um, I only have the chance to try on this paper. Uh, it may be different if I use another kind of tea or another kind of uh, paper like the RC paper of the fiber-based FB paper. Okay. So the last one is from the beetroot staining. Not much effect here. Any um, color change that you think you might see is actually from this old photo. Huh? It has turned a bit uh, yellow. But I do not see any red from the uh, staining. The only place we, I see is from the cause the beetroot solution to stain it. But on the surface where there is still the RC coating, it is not obvious if there's any changes. We Unlike the turmeric one where we can see the staining very obviously, for the beetroot one there doesn't seem to be any effect. I also throw in another print. I thought this may be too old or different paper. So I throw in another print. So for this one, if you look at the back, the stain has actually went into the paper. Even the edges, you can see some uh, pinkish uh, stain here. But it's not go into the print at all. So for this one, I can, I think that the beetroot doesn't really work well for this uh, staining. So overall, in conclusion, I would say that the coffee and the turmeric stain the best and stain fast. So if there's something that you like, you may want to try this. Okay, that's all for the result. So thank you for watching to the end of this video. I hope you find it interesting. I do find the process uh, quite interesting. Although some of the colors may not be what I want in my photo prints, the turmeric stain very well and very fast. I like the coffee effect also. Um, but the tea, maybe I have to try another brand or another kind of tea. Somehow the beetroot doesn't seem to stain very well. Even I leave the prints in the liquid for more than 16 hours. It may be due to the fact I'm using RC prints, but again, RC prints uh, turn quite fast in coffee. So that may be a property of the beetroot. I may try in the future using a fiber-based FB print and to see how it goes. All right, so this is the end of the video. Again, do leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel and at the same time, click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed whenever I upload a new video. So I see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.